who is ready to put together their emergency binder because that is what we are doing in today's video. Hey you guys, it's Kristen and welcome to The Gold Project. If you are new here, welcome. We hope you decide to become a part of this community by clicking that red subscribe button below. Also hit that bell notification so you are informed every time I post videos. I post videos at least three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And on this channel, we have a mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. So I hope you decide to become a part of this community and our mission. So today's video is a binder video. We are slowly tackling all of the binders in our house. So this is the fourth video in the binder series. The first video really didn't have a binder, but it was binder oriented. So I am going to mention it. So I will put the three videos in cards above that started this entire series. So the first one was over my paper decluttering. So we gathered all the papers and we sorted all the papers and we shred two bags full of papers that we didn't need. The second video was organizing the papers. We organized them and put them into two binders, a home binder and a personal binder. Then the third video was my medical binder. We got our medical binders all put together. Thank goodness, I hadn't touched that since 2017. So I'm so happy to have that organized and back together. And now we are on video four, which is our emergency binder. If there is one binder out of all of them that I feel like that you need in your house, it is the emergency binder. Because I have told my family, this binder right here, if anything was to happen to us, this is what they need to grab. I've told them where it is in my house, what is contained in it, any bit of personal and important information that they may need for us or the house or the vehicles is all contained in this one binder. So all they have to do is grab this one thing. Also, it is important if something was to happen in our house, if a tornado was to hit, if a fire was to hit, anything like that where we have to get out of this house, I don't have to run around my house looking for papers because everything is right here. I don't have to run through the house if there's a fire trying to locate all of these important documents. So everything is right here. We all know where this binder is in the house and we all know to grab it if we can get to it. So I'm excited to share the contents with you right now. I am going to try my best to share as much as I can of the emergency binder. I do have little sheets at the very beginning that have a list of everything that goes in each section. And that's probably about as much as you're gonna see for each section because it's personal things like birth certificates, social security cards, and I just can't share that information on YouTube. And I will apologize, you can see the feet of my little tripod here, but I'm trying my best to shoot straight down so that it doesn't look kind of weird for you guys viewing it. So this is, once again, a better binder from Staples. Every single binder that I have shared in this series has been a better binder from Staples. I love the quality of these binders. They are a little bit more expensive than, let's say, one that you would get from Target or Walmart, but they hold up. I like that it has the rubbery portions on the edges and on the binding. I have been not really delicate with these binders and they have held up perfectly. I also like the fact that these binders, the actual rings are on the back it's not on the spine so it makes it to where you can open and close the binder perfectly without having to mess with the rings so this is a three inch binder it's the same size as my home binder and this one is red so every one of my binders is a different color so this i created this in i think word i think that's y'all i've created this i want to say it like four years ago and I haven't changed it since. Now this is a Avery Ready Index. Now I would like to change this one out for a plastic one because all of these are paper and they just don't hold up as well, but it's gonna work for today. So this binder has four sections. I have first section is vital documents, second section is financial documents, 
Third is insurance. Fourth is household inventory. And the very bottom, let me zoom out, is personal documents. So here's the thing. Some of these items in this binder may be duplicates because here is my overall goal for this binder. My goal for this binder is if we have a tornado or a fire or some kind of emergency to where we have to evacuate our home, I don't have to run around my office trying to find paperwork. All of those important documents that we might need will be right here. So some of these things might be in another binder, but I have a duplicate in the emergency binder, so it's all contained within one binder. Everybody knows where it is. We can grab it and go. So that is the goal. The goal is for everything to be in one binder in case something was to happen and we would have to leave and need everything in one spot. So we're going to start with number one, which is the vital documents. And for the vital documents, these are basically birth certificates, marriage certificates, driver's license copies, social security cards, vehicle registrations, passports, school records, so any type of transcripts, any type of school documents, um, our contracts at school. Every year we sign a new contract. Usually, I think it's in May when we sign our contract. So all of those copies go in here. So anything personal and it's social security cards. The actual cards are in this binder because I was told that you should not travel with social security cards. Have you guys heard that? I'm not really sure why you shouldn't travel with those, but that's why I keep those in here. So birth certificates, our marriage certificate is in here as well. Next, we are moving to the financial document. So anything dealing with money is in section two. So that includes passwords printable and you guys this is filled out in here i probably need to go back through it and here's what i want to ask you guys i would like to have an app to where all of my passwords were in that app because right now i have it on the notes on my phone in addition to the sheet here but I kind of feel like the notes is all over the place. It's not organized and it takes forever to get to the ones at the bottom. So is there an app that you guys recommend to keep all of your passwords contained? And y'all, it's thundering if you can hear that. Extra checkbook and cash. So usually that is at the very front in a little organizer, a little pocket organizer. I always have an extra checkbook in here and some cash. Like I said, this is going to be the binder that goes with us if something happens. Paycheck stubs, just to see how much we make, just in case we have to refer to that. Our checking account information, our savings account information, student loan records, credit card information, retirement information, automobile titles, home deeds, investment account information, which we don't have any of that because we don't have stocks or bonds or anything, but if you do, copy of tax returns and copy of credit report if you have a copy. And actually, I don't think I have a copy of that. No, I don't think I have a copy of my credit report, but if you do, that's a great place to put it. So anything that we might need that has financial information on it goes in here. Like what's our credit card numbers? How much do we have on our credit cards? What's our checking and saving account numbers? Because you guys, if something happens, you need to know all of the money information. So all of that is contained within this section. Number three is insurance documents. So we're going to go on over to number three. I'm going to try my best not to show anything. Number three. So section three is insurance document. Any type of insurance, no matter if it's automobile, no matter if it's home, personal, all of that goes right in here. So every time we get an updated homeowner's insurance policy, I always put it in here. Home warranty policy. Then we have medical insurance policies and cards. So when I say cards, I'm saying I have a copy of the cards in here, not the actual cards because those go with me. And that also includes dental. So any type of policies go in here, which for us, we have medical through the school, dental through the school. I also took out accidental for since I have two active kids. And then we have cancer policies for the entire family our auto insurance policy. So anytime State Farm sends us a 
I think they send it like every six months or four months or so, something like that. I will put those new policies in here, the updated information. Our life insurance policy, we do have life insurance. Our air evac information, and that is one of the things that you saw in my um, medical binder. So this is copies that go in here. Then pest control, so our termite contract and any other maintenance that we have. So if you have a lawn service that comes and takes care of your lawn, anything like that, I would probably keep in here any of those contracts. So that is section three. Section four is the household inventory. And you guys, this is the section that I really need to work on. I have really not done anything with this section because it's going to take some time. So for the inventory, this is my plan. This is what I wanna do. I plan on taking video footage of the house and placing the card inside this section of my emergency binder. So I wanna go through my house with the camera that I'm using right now, film everything from drawers to cabinets to how things are laid out, every single thing in case something were to happen to our house. Because you know, if something happens to your house, you're not gonna be able to remember, or I would not be able to remember every single thing, everything in a drawer, everything in a cabinet. There's no way I could remember all of that. So by taking that video footage and keeping the card in here, that would be a lifesaver. So that is something I plan on doing in the next couple of months. And the last and final section is personal documents. So this is where I have a PDF. Emergency numbers PDF. Let me see if it's in here, if I can take it out and show you. I will pop up a picture of that right here. So any type of um, 911 information, any type of fire department information, anything dealing with contacts, people in the family that someone can contact in case something happens to us, all of that is going to be here. Then we have personal information printable. Every single family member does have one of these in this section. So I'm gonna show you what the printable looks like and if you are interested in any of these printables, I'm gonna leave the links in the description below. So this is a document that I came up with myself. So it has our name, our address, phone numbers, email addresses, where we work and go to school, our birthday, social, blood type, eye color, hair color, just in case something was to happen to one of us or all of us and somebody was to come into the house, they would know who all lives here. So each family member has one of these sheets and it even says if we have any allergies. So I'm not gonna show you those completed sheets because there is personal information like our social security number on there. So you guys, that is what is contained inside of the emergency binder. We've got vital documents, financial documents, insurance documents, household inventory, and personal documents. I will also in the description below leave this list and everything that goes underneath each one of these sections in case you want to refer to this video later but you don't want to really watch the video you're just trying to get that information so i'll put all the vital documents all the financial documents insurance documents household inventory and personal documents so just check the description below And that is all for my emergency binder. I hope you have enjoyed seeing how I have this entire binder set up and all of the documents that are contained in it. If you have any additional questions, if there's something, anything at all, make sure that you leave it in the comments below, shoot me an email, send me a message, contact me somehow, and I will help you the best that I can. So I hope you give this video a big thumbs up. By giving my videos a thumbs up, it shows YouTube you're engaged and you like my content, and they'll start suggesting it and recommending it to more people on YouTube, which means our community will grow and we'll Will continue to spread positivity. Also hit that red subscribe button below to become a part of our community and our mission to get organized on a budget and with a plan together. 
And don't forget to check out the last and final binder for my house. It will be in a few weeks, and it's over my taxes binder. This is a binder I put together several years ago, and you guys, it's organized perfectly. I love the way that I have everything organized. If you're looking for a way to organize your tax documents for the next year and to keep everything contained in one place, that will be the video for you, so I hope you check that out. So I hope you guys have a fantastic week, and until next time, bye you guys.